morning I had that specialist appointment in its packaging before I open it up but I really need to open it up because it'd make it such easier like the pink was really cute too but I'm not an overly pink person um, but yeah so so lovely um, it looks really really good quality I think 206 all up it was to go to that specialist appointment because obviously without the kids um, but I'll talk more about that appointment and cottage piping I know the kids both love that and I can put carrot and celery in that have another one no I think that's all ah, that's annoying me um, sit you down somewhere else and show you the things that mum got me for my birthday Hello everyone, happy Friday. So this morning I had that specialist appointment um, with my mum or she met me, it wasn't with her, but she met me and just um, come for a drive with me in there, um, took me into it because I was a bit unsure about the parking and all that. She's just a sweetie, my mum's just a lifesaver. Anyway, it's 20 past 11 now. I haven't eaten much today. Only an apple and greens powder, if I'm being completely honest, because it's just been so, so busy. Um, so I'm going to make a quick lunch. Obviously, Friday the kids are at daycare. Um, normally I'd be working, but I took to off to go to that specialist appointment, because obviously without the kids. Um, but I'll talk more about that appointment and what it's around a bit later on. But anyway, I got my tripod from Officeworks. There was an Officeworks in near where we went. So me and mum just stopped in there. So I picked up the tripod and then while I was there, I saw a, like a stand one. So I thought, oh, I'm going to need that eventually, obviously for vlogging as well. So I may as well pick up one of them. So I'm going to show you them. And I'm also going to show you the presents that my mum got me for my birthday. Okay, so I probably should, but I want to show you, I want to share with you obviously the tripod in its packaging before I open it up, but I really need to open it up because it'll make it such easier, like you're just sitting on things at the minute. Um, so yeah, this is, this, how much was it, 18, 19, I think, just this one here, just your standard handheld um, tripod, and that could be used for a phone as well, you've got that option, but I obviously want it for the camera, so I just picked up that one, that's mainly what I went in there for. And near that because yeah it's the same brand i just picked up this one obviously um, a stand one for doing things that i need the camera up higher so i picked up that one and i've paid in the past i've had two stand tripods from kmart and they were like 50 dollars. this was 60 um but yeah from office works so anyway i needed those two things so i'm really happy i picked those up and the kids needed more wash so i just picked them up this one and my mum she is such a sweetheart just open this up now um and and get this set up so that for the rest of the vlog i can have a proper tripod um, just to make things obviously a lot simpler a lot easier um because i'm not gonna lie it's been pretty tricky vlogging with just the phone and no tripod situation so anyway we're just going to get into this yeah i've got a bit on today that i want to do at home to catch up before the weekend obviously without the kids and tomorrow we're meeting up with my mum and sister and obviously my two nieces so Harper's really excited about that um, just to sort of celebrate celebrate our birthday because obviously me and my sister are twins we share a birthday oh okay so yeah it opens up like that and then you can close it and hold it and obviously the camera twists onto that so standard as F but um, I mean that's all all I wanted so I'm going to hook this camera up now onto this so you're on the tripod now so cool it is so much easier um, and it also swivels so like I've locked it into place now but the little ball on there so you can swivel the camera so that's also pretty cool but yeah so anyway you're on the tripod that's ready to go so anyway I might sit you down somewhere else and show you the things that mum got me for my birthday okay that is much much better I haven't got to bend down quite as much um, okay so for Harper like obviously to give me something um, my mum is such a thinker she wrapped up 
something and mum said tell Harper that I was there today and I left something under her pillow on her bed to give to you for your birthday so mum did that God love her. and then a little card that just says mummy on it she my mum sweetest and so mum also got me these beautiful flowers which I have to put in water because they've been in my car obviously um, when I went to the appointment and obviously she gave me a card now I did ask for this because obviously mum asked me I'm 34 what I wanted so I asked for one of the Steph Pace's you new know, like lunch bags so I'm so excited um, so yeah let's open it up oh okay so it comes in this little bag itself and on it it says say hello to your new lunch date and then it's got obviously her signature um, brand down the bottom so really really nice um, packaged like the bags in its own little bag um, and then I oh, like the pink was really cute too but I'm not an overly pink person um, I'm not one of those really pink crazy girls so um, I just went this one like the standard you know just like neutral will go with most things sort of bag so yeah and it's got obviously the carrier bit if you want to wear it on your shoulder or just um, which I'll probably just mostly carry it by the handles um, but yeah so so lovely um, it looks really really good quality oh yeah and that's the side where you put your drink bottle but yeah it looks really really good uh, quality obviously it has to settle itself out um, but yeah so anyway she watches my vlog so thank you very much mum love you um, yeah so love that and then she just her and dad just give us money um, because that's obviously easy for my dad because he has no idea um, what me and my sister would want oh yeah so and then that's inside so I've seen these obviously I'm sure we've all seen these on Steph's Instagrams and things of how they're laid out and all but yeah that's gonna come in handy especially like say with things tomorrow that we're going to like I can take food snacks all in this one bag um, for the kids and me whatever so love love that um, makes a great gift like such a great gift idea if you're really stuck on getting someone something um, so great thing to keep in mind coming up to Christmas so yeah anyway I'm going to get into making lunch I think I'm just going to have turkey and throw some things on a wrap today and toast it that's nice and simple I want to mop I really I haven't worked out yet but I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not I would like to maybe if I stop yakking I would I haven't even made the beds or anything to get mince out for dinner so I'll do that now so I've got the mince out I'm just going to do just like cottage pie thing I know the kids both love that and I can put carrot and celery in that so yeah first things first lunch The lunch just wrap I thought I had baby spinach and kale but I don't but I also need to go grocery shopping today too so pick up some more of that um, capsicum that's very hot now I turned it on too quick um, turkey just some ranch dressing mozzarella so I didn't have to grate cheese um, and the red capsicum just threw that on mushroom okay and then I just literally cook it in there and then I'm going to eat it whilst I finish off the grocery list. Okay, so I've got my lunch. It's all done. It doesn't look overly appetizing, but it'll be yum. It'll be good. It'll give me the energy to keep going with what I need to for the rest of the day. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I also need to do grocery shopping. So this is sort of like the only opportunity today that I would, and even if I was working, I would, I'd maybe do a click and collect um, or go up after work before I pick them up on a Friday afternoon. That's sort of how um, I've been working it in so I can avoid taking them with me for like an actual grocery shop because that's just way too, you know, I don't need any more stress. Um, so I'm not going to just bring that stress purposely on myself. Um, but I'm not going to lie, I'm feeling very sort of overwhelmed today. I had, I have a vlog obviously that you would have seen before this one that 
I would really like to edit a bit more of. I've got that. My car to me is an absolute mess. Now, I mean, we don't sort of live out of the car or anything like that. So I don't like have toys. Like, you know, you see some mum's cars with all toys and the food wrappers and all that. So my car's not that bad, um, but for me it is. And it just does something to me mentally when I have a clean car. It just clears my mind. So anyway, I like to have the clean car. Um, I've been attempting to do it for the last couple of weeks, but haven't got there. So I was going to see if I can do that today. But this grocery shopping alone is a big thing. And then mopping the floor is sort of a big job because this house is so big. Like there's a lot of tiled area. So yeah, but anyway, so my sister got me this book ages ago, just from Kmart. Um, and this is this home planner. Um, and this is sort of just what I use for, I haven't really used it for anything else like the weekly planner or anything like that, which I probably will have to start doing when I get my head around everything so with Harper's dancing and stuff. And she has a little concert coming up next month, December, and then like a rehearsal thing coming up on, are we? Not tomorrow, not this Saturday, next Saturday. So just little things like that. Um, and then they had their school photos this coming week, Thursday. So just little things like that probably to remember. So I might use it for that, but I've just been using it for the shopping list part here. So it's got sort of all your um, sections and stuff, which sometimes I just do a rough job. You can always tell from my handwriting um, how busy I am. So, cause I just jotting it down, jotting it down really quickly. So I've just worked out what I'm going to make. And of course these days, cause obviously it's just us three, things last us a lot longer. Um, so I've got chicken risotto, a chicken pesto risotto there to make. I thought I had something else. Okay, that's all I've got at the moment because I've just found that as a Thermomix. I haven't used my Thermomix for a while. So I thought that'll be nice to use my Thermomix again for that and Harper's been loving pesto pasta. So hopefully she might like the pesto risotto. The recipe does have like a homemade pesto, but I'm just buying the jar. I'm not doing that to myself. Not at this stage anyway. Yeah, so I've just wrote down a few things. Oh, and I saw a single mum vlogger Hayley, yeah, she made apple cider apple cider muffins. So I thought I want to try them. So I found a recipe for them. But instead of the apple cider, like apple cider vinegar, because I don't know how the kids will go with that. I mean, in a muffin it might be all right. Because I mean, I've saw these recipes all over the internet. So um, since seeing that vlog, but it said you could use apple juice instead. So I might just get some apple juice and make them with that. But they looked really nice. Like she was putting them in her daughter's lunchbox. So I thought I might try them. But I thought I had another dinner. Thing. Well, spaghetti bolognese, that's always like a go-to, but yeah. And then I've just been getting them, them little kids frozen meals, little something or something. Um, I don't have any at the moment, but I'll show you when I get some. So I just get them some of them just to have on hand as well. And then like we have things like scrambled eggs and um, sometimes if I'm really desperate, they'll have baked beans, like something I'll cook up with baked beans. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do. But I sort of just YouTube it, uh, YouTube it, Google recipes, and then just make them from that. So that's what we're going to do. I think I might find a look for a slow cooker one because slow cooker is really easy. We're just throwing everything in. You haven't got to be over the stove or any of that jazz. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get my phone, scroll for a few more recipes because, like I said, that chicken pesto risotto, or I'll either eat it for lunch or whatever. Okay, so I've just eaten lunch and then I thought I'll have a look, open this tripod um, so I can use it to film some of this vlog. And I freaked out for a second because I'm not very good with the heights of things. So like it said, 62 in. And to be honest, I know this is going to sound completely ridiculous that I'm a 34 year old and I don't know this exactly, but and I've, op I've opened it up and I thought, oh my gosh, it's not very big. It's not what I was thinking, but it has this little handle here and it winds up and down. So obviously you get more height in that way. So I was like, well, that's pretty good. So anyway, it's okay. I was just thinking to have to run it back and be a pain and I don't have, I don't have time for that. So anyway, I've done the list. So I'm probably just going to quickly make the beds mop and then head to the grocery store. I'll have to wash out. I have to wipe out the fridge. So yeah.
Okay, so I've just mopped. It's so warm. I had to change my shirt to a singlet. Um, it's just so warm here now and then obviously mopping. Um, so I'm going to get on to wiping the fridge out now and then we can go grocery shopping and then unpack everything and then I might see I might squeeze in a half an hour workout. I should be able to. Um, so the kids are supposed to be getting picked up this afternoon from daycare from Kelvin. So that means I don't have to pick them up from daycare. So that's good. And then he'll just bring them back here after he goes to the park. Um, I think he's taking them. So that'll just be a lovely break from having to go to the daycare, pick them up um, and all of that. So yeah, onto the fridge now. Now I just wipe out the fridge with my thieves household cleaner that I get from Young Living and then just a microfiber cloth. Okay, so I'm back from grocery shopping. Groceries are done. I think 206 all up it was. Yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little quick grocery haul of what I got this week. Keeping in mind, I did have some things left over from last week, a few snack things that the kids didn't actually get to this week, surprisingly. Um, and I picked up one of these. Now these are not something I drink all the time. I can't, I think it was actually a few months ago, the last time I had one of these, but they're so good. So I treated myself to that, um, just to sip on that whilst I pack this away. And then I'm going to work out, I decided, from the drive from Cole's home, because tomorrow with meeting up with my mum and sister, I probably won't get a chance to work out tomorrow. So I thought I'm going to do it today. It's 20 to three, so I need to get a move on. Okay, so this is like the meat stuff, mince, chicken thighs for dinner for dinner recipes obviously dishwashing liquid this was on sale for two dollars something so i just got that this week and then some more toilet cleaner now i don't have a particular toilet cleaner that i use all the time the last couple of times i've used the spray um, which i actually like but i couldn't i couldn't find that so anyway i've seen these i've never seen these before so i'll pick these up for snack ideas for the kids these were new kombuchas they haven't had these there before the flavor is ginger and tahiti and lime so i thought that sounded really 
really refreshing. Obviously bread, wraps, more tissues. These are just the tissues I've been getting lately and I actually really like them ones. Obviously toilet paper. Um, I just picked up one of these just to have on hand for dinners, like just to give the kids with, with something else. Just for a quick dinner idea if I'm if I'm stuck, which happens a lot lately. Um, some more pesto. This is the pesto that we always get. I needed some more baking powder to make those apple cider muffins. And then these were just on sale, these tunas. I haven't had these before, I hope they're all right. Just olive oil blend I get, just with the olive oil. Eggs, risotto, Borio rice for risotto, blueberries, kiwi fruit, corn, just to cook them up some corn, just very random, maybe to have that, that, and then something else. Um, some oranges, some lemons, now obviously my lemon water. A bag of baby spinach. I always, every week, get baby spinach. Bananas, but they sort of didn't get to them this week. They were going a bit spotty really quickly, so I just got a few. I just got three yellow and then three or four really green ones. Some raspberries, and I just got these for them this week. I don't usually get yogurts like this for them. They usually just eat my tub of yogurt, but these were on for a dollar something, so I just got them for, for snacks. Random zucchini under there. Garlic, I couldn't find, I usually get like the mesh bag with the three um, bulbs of garlic, but I couldn't see it, so I just got that one. Avocado, and these were on sale two for $7, I think. So I got myself two of them. Some Pink Lady apples. Me and Harper eat a lot of apples. And then lastly, I just picked them up. These, these were always also on sale. Had these before, they're really yum. Cause the thing I struggle with for the kids is snacks. So that's what I was sort of keeping in mind when I was shopping today. It's the snacks that I have trouble with. And these are them little meals um, I've talked about before. So I just got them this one. They like this one. Bolognese pasta bag. Obviously, I just I just picked up one because I thought I've, I think I'm pretty prepared this week um, as far as meals go. So I think I'll be right. And I got that rice. So yeah, I, th I think I'll, I'll be safe. <laughs> this week and then I got this apple juice um, I just picked up this one for those apple cider muffins because I'm going to use apple juice instead and then they can just drink what's left over Harper can um, and then just a milk for them this is just the milk that they drink when they're going to bed um, some almond milk for me that's the one I get and then buttermilk obviously for the muffins and then cottage cheese which I just put in scrambled eggs and um, things like that. And then just one of these to have on hand to throw in with mince um, and pasta for another dinner idea. So that's the little grocery haul, but quite still up there in price. So I think I might just end this vlog here now, work out, getting my workout for today and then just chill out, maybe edit some of my video. Yeah, and oh, maybe see how I'm feeling. I still haven't backed in my car. That's annoying me. Um, I'm just gonna have to plan to do it probably one day next week after I finish working um, before I pick up the, ki the kids. Because when they're napping, like I cannot be wasting time vacuuming my car. Um, that's when I either work out or obviously clean up from the sort of morning. But yeah, so anyway, thank you everyone for watching and coming back for another vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me your comments down below see you all in my next one we have you, you got to give me something Mama left it under the pit under your pillow no i think this one what? this flower pillow now remember this is my present that Uma left for you to give to mum <gasps> it's safe oh i can't what does it say? open it i'll help you open it Okay. okay, I'll help you see what's... Oh, not yet. Okay, I'll show you. You're going to open my present for me. You're going to say, love you, Mum. Maybe oh. you put your birth. Oh, Look, my... it says help. And now, remember, you have to do it. Oh, what's in Mom. here? I'll show what's... It's a lovely card from you and Ryder. Hey, what is in here? I'll show you what's in here. What did I'll give? show you what Rakin threw in here. Oh, we open it. it? And I will show you what's in. Pretty exciting. Are you excited? Yeah. I'll show you what's in here. I wonder what it is. Do you want to see what it is? I'm going to show you what I open it. What it is. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Oh. 
Ready? It's gentle, it could be breakable. What is it? What it can it be? What it can it be? It can it be a rock. A rock? <gasps> a special cream! I want to watch in the big one. Are you next? Oh, hand and nail cream. That's you can lovely. put on your nail later. Thanks, Harper and Ryder. You're welcome. Well, I just hope like you're super hot. Yeah, say right love you, like, Ryder. I'll say love you and thank him tomorrow when he wakes up. Yeah. That's right. Have another one. No, I think that's all that Oma got you to give to me. From, that's from you and Ryder. This lovely um, hand cream and this what is it what do you think it is i'll show you what's in it what do you think it is i'll show you i'll show you what it i'll rip it up oh i'll show it's a candle is it? do you think do you think it's a candle daddy ready <gasps> oh it is now well, let's open this part so we can see the done does it smell good do you think it smells good? I'll show you we have two of them. Take this off so I can see the jar. Show me the front. Show everyone the front. Oh. No, I said I want to hold it. Well, I'm going to hold it walking out because it's glass. I will show you I have one. I just put a matching behind this pillow. No, I don't think there's anything else, Bob. That's all Alma said she left. The lovely candle. I'm behind we say, my bed. Thanks, Alma. Thank Alma's you. the best, isn't Daddy's she? Daddy's behind Teddy's. This one, Teddy, this one. Now, this one.